Well, hi guys. We're here today to talk about water treatment. If you're a hiker, backpacker, you know water treatment is one of the most important things you need to take care of on your hike. I do Yosemite National Park a lot myself. I do Half Dome, which is an extremely strenuous hike. I've done it over 35 times. They call me Mr. Half Dome. But let's talk about your water treatment. When I do that hike, I drink seven quarts of water. Certainly, I don't carry seven quarts, but I filter as I go. So let's talk about the major methods of treating water. You can boil it, you can chemically treat it, you can use ultraviolet light, and you can filter it. Okay, so let's dissect those. First of all, boiling water, it absolutely does work. Problem is, it's gonna take you a long time. Gotta set up your stove, gotta get your water, boil it, let it cool down so you can drink it. Very good idea if you're backpacking, but hiking just obviously doesn't work it. Second thing you can do is chemically treat it. Now, since World War II, we've been using these iodine pills. Now, the way this works, you take a quart of water, put two of the pills in, follow the instructions, shake it up, and then you wait 30 minutes for it to take effect. I'd rather be hiking than waiting 30 minutes to drink. Now, the downside of that also is it's going to taste pretty bad. It's going to taste like iodine, so you have to put an iodine taste corrector pill, and then it'll taste pretty good. But the other big thing you got to watch out for is the main concern we have with water in the U.S. and Canada is cryptosporidium and giardia. Iodine pills will take care of giardia, but actually they do nothing against cryptosporidium. So I'm thinking this is a great idea, but primarily just for emergency use. Also, iodine in large concentrations is not good for your thyroid and other parts of your body. Okay, the second type of treatment we can use is ultraviolet light. The ultraviolet light emanates uh, a rays into the water and this will inhibit the DNA of any living thing to reproduce. That's great. That's what makes you sick. So if you're eat, drinking contaminated water, you may not feel the effects until seven to 10 days after you get back. You might think it was something you ate the night before, but in reality, it's the protozoa and the parasites in your intestines that reproduce, reproduce, and that's what causes the sickness. So the ultraviolet light definitely would take care of those, but you gotta carry batteries because they're battery powered and you make sure you don't drop the device because you may be back to iodine pills. I think they're great for travel, wonderful going to third world countries, or if you're going to a place where viruses are a problem, ultraviolet light is definitely a good idea. Now the last method we want to talk about is the mechanical filtering of water. What I prefer to use is the Catadyne Hiker Pro. It's pronounced Catadyne, not Catadyne, just to clarify that for you. And let me just show you what we have. So this is the pouch that the product comes in. You take it on your hike, unzip it. So this little octopus looking rig is the product. Now we're going to show you down by the water how it works in just a minute, but let me walk you through it. The Catadyne Hiker Pro has quick release fittings. So you can just snap it together. and you're all ready to go. Makes it very easy for putting it together, taking it apart, putting it back in your pack. It's a very small device. As you see, it's about six and a half inches long. It's about three inches in diameter. Inside of it is a pleated glass fiber. So let me just show you that right now. Do my quick disconnect. Here's how you open it up. And what you're gonna see is a mechanical filter. The cartridge here, as we take it out, as you see here, it's got a protective cover on it. We remove that. It's got a secondary mesh to keep the filter clean inside. As you see, it's a pleated surface, which gives you more surface area. It also has an activated carbon core. That'll remove the taste you might pick up from water, make it a little better for you. You can also clean this in the field. The product comes with a small sponge. So if you're out multi-days, you can just wipe off the excess on the pre-filter as well as the filter itself. We're down near our stream now, ready to get our water. Let's put the Hiker Pro to test. What I'd like to do first is get my wide mouth bottle, very rigid. Catadyne comes with a fitting that fits right into the top of my bottle. Put the bottle between your legs or hold it with your feet. Next thing we're gonna do is get our inlet and put it out into the stream. Now the inlet will keep particles 150 microns or bigger out of entering the main system here. Now how big is actually a micron? A human hair is 100 microns, so it just shows you, teeny weeny. 
The main filter itself will go down to 0.3 microns, which is smaller than Giardia and Cryptosporidium. So it's a mechanical barrier to those two. So let's go ahead and toss it out into the stream. As you can see, the water is not the clearest we could hope for, but that's one of the beauties of the Catadyne product, is it will filter almost any type of water that you want. So we have it all attached, and we want the inlet just below the surface to avoid getting particles in. You can hear it filling up. Notice the ergonometric handle on the Catadyne product. Easy to push with your palm. It'll take about 48 strokes, maybe about a minute, to fill up the container. So let's see how we're doing in this brief amount of time that we've pumped. You can see I've already done about a third of the bottle in that brief time. Let's see how it goes. This is good. So the next thing I'd like you to do is keep in mind that this is now our clean end. Everything else we could consider to be contaminated. So what Catadyne provides is a little bag with a Ziploc top. What we want to do is put the outlet hose into the bag, seal it up, and put it into our backpack. This way we know this is secure, it's clean, and it'll be ready for our next uh, filtering. Now many of you may like the Camelback or hydration packs that are out on the market. So you just put those on your back and you go. One really great feature of the Catadyne product is it comes with a fitting so you can attach it to the inlet hose, the, the uh, drinking hose of your Camelback type product. So I don't have it hooked up now, but we can hook it right in there and you fill directly from the filter into the bladder. Very, very convenient. Now when you get home, what I'd like you to do is to get a one gallon plastic milk jug. Cut the top open like I've done here, fill it with tap water, put two tablespoons of bleach in here, and I want you to put the outlet and the inlet both into the solution, and then pump it for about three to five minutes. What this will do, it will circulate the chlorine in the bleach. Chlorine is a great disinfectant, and it will make things nice and tidy in case you brought back anything from the mountains. But you're not done yet. Once you're finished, dispose of your water properly. And then I want you to open the product up, take it all apart, let it air out for about a day or two. You certainly don't want to pack this away because mold will definitely grow with any wet products that you might store away. Now when you're looking at water filters, uh, be sure you find filters like the Catadyne product that are tested to standard EPA protocols for water filtration. By the way, Catadyne is a Swiss company. They've been around since 1928 doing desalination, uh, water treatment for groups, third world countries, as well as individual hikers like us. Many uh, water filter companies actually ask you to back flush the product in between uses. You don't have to do that with uh, the Catadyne. Another thing I must mention is be sure to bring some electrolytes, powdered electrolytes that you mix in with your water. That'll keep you at your top performing condition on your hike. So once again, I'm Mr. Half Dome and I totally endorse the Catadyne Hiker Pro. Remember, hydrate or die.